As of 1219, we have made it to 28 in Burlington and 25 is the best we can do in Plattsburgh. Meanwhile, it's just 18 in Lake Placid, uh, 28 in East Thetford, Vermont and widening out. You can see 20s all the way to the Massachusetts border, 25 in Rutland and 26 in Brattleboro. But that's just the air temperature. You may have noticed that west wind just hasn't quit since yesterday. Sure, it's not as strong, but you don't need a strong wind to really bring the wind chills down. That's why the wind chills are in the single digits for Newport and St. Johnsbury. Feels like six right now in Saranac Lake and feeling like the teens all the way across southern Vermont. Most of the weekend is going to be chilly. Look at tomorrow. The high just 27. That's almost 10 degrees colder than normal. Although we do have a bit of a rebound in the temperatures as we look towards Sunday and especially next week, Monday, Tuesday, we should be back in the 40s. In the meantime, though, the flow is still out of the north and west, so this is keeping all the cold air locked in place. And it's also kept the lake effect snow showers in the picture. Now we're not talking about anything like we saw yesterday where the snow was coming down heavy in northern New York, slowing down travel like crazy. That band is still present, but you can see it's clearly oriented south of our area. We're just dealing with some leftover uh, light snow showers. These are more of a nuisance than anything. You have to turn on the high resolution radar and really squint at the screen to see these things. I mean, just a couple of flurries out by Newport and Barton, but nothing that'll slow you down if you have to say head out later this afternoon. So over the next 12 hours, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds. I think it'll be brighter in southern Vermont, clouds a little more stubborn in northern areas, and temperatures will slowly fall into the 20s and teens, and we'll start to clear the sky out as we head into the overnight. This should be one of the coldest nights we've had so far this season with lows in the teens, even in the wide valleys and single digits likely in the mountains. Would not shock me at all if Saranac Lake instead of three above was say three below zero by uh, early tomorrow morning. So just mentally prepare yourself for that. Tomorrow afternoon, kind of similar to today when you think about the temperatures, 20s, a couple of 30s, we will have more sun and the wind will not be as big of a factor. So that alone will improve the wind chill situation at least. And just so you know, it's one of those days where the clouds may be really tough to break in northern Vermont and northern New York. So even though you see the increasing sun, some areas may need to wait to the afternoon to actually see a, a brighter blue sky. Otherwise, the weather should not be a big problem on Saturday. It's another very cold mon uh, morning on Sunday. We'll start with sun and these high clouds will fill in as we head towards the afternoon and evening. I think it's totally dry while the sun is up. After the sun goes down, a very weak system tries to come in. It's uh, right at the end of the future cast run, so we don't have a great look at it yet. But I would say some light snow showers are possible Monday or Sunday night into Monday morning. And we'll see what kind of impact that may have on the Monday morning commute. Some light rain showers on the way Tuesday. No snow in that forecast with a high of 47. And then we cool down towards the end of the week with highs back in the 30s for Thursday and Friday. Lauren. All right, Ben. Thank you.